I have two waves, the red one and the blue one, of slightly different frequency, which means they have slightly different wavelengths. That green object represents a particle that is being pushed by both waves. And we're going to superimpose the push by the two waves as the two waves pass through. There are some places where they add together and you get a big uh, displacement, and then other places where they kind of cancel out and it doesn't seem to go anywhere. There we're done. There we're done. There we're done. Okay. <laughs> now, this is easier to understand. If I actually uh, plot the, the crests and the valleys, the crests and the troughs of two different waves, the top one has a, if this is a time interval of one second, the top one has a frequency of 10 hertz, because I've got 10 crests in one second. The second one, uh, the lower one, has a frequency of 12 hertz. And what we see when we add them together, there are places where I have a crest adding with a crest and giving me a super crest. Uh, there are places where I've got a crest uh, adding with a trough. No, this is a trough and a trough giving me a super trough. This is a crest and a trough giving me nothing. And then I've got a trough and a trough giving me a super trough. Now, it sounds like it goes complicated wiggles, but the sound is this amplitude, is what we hear as, as uh, the loudness. And it goes loud, and then soft, and then loud, and then soft. This would be wah, wah. Okay? <laughs> now the point that I'm trying to make with this slide is that I've got 12 hertz and 10 hertz, and the beat frequency happens to be 2 hertz. If you do this carefully for different sources, you always find this relationship, that the beat frequency is the difference between the two sources. 